What's up everybody? This video I'm going to show you how to do brake pads on a Daytona 675. I think this is a 2012 or 13. So these are going to be uh, radial brakes and pretty standard procedure for most any radial brake front brake system here with a uh, four piston caliper. So the first step would be to crack loose this brake pin right here. It's a five millimeter Allen. And that pin goes all the way through the brake pads to hold them in place. So the reason why you want to get that loose first is because this is bolted on and that will prevent this from twisting or making it difficult to break that loose. Alright, so I'm going to break that loose with a 5mm Allen. And that's just a pin. So next step would be to remove these two brake caliper bolts. And those on this bike are 8mm Allen. So now we just slide the caliper off of the rotor. Sometimes it's got some grooves in there. Like that. And here we can see our brake pads. And they're worn out just in time. Better to do them earlier than too late. So next we're gonna go ahead and pull that brake pin out and inspect this. If this is worn out or damaged in any way, just go ahead and replace it. So next the brake pad should come out. They have uh, metal backings on there that I usually transfer over to the new pads. So I take those off. Clean them up and put them on the new pads. You can see that these pads are now past those wear markers and that is exactly about the time you want to replace them. Maybe a little before. So now that I'm going to be putting in new brake pads, I got to push these pistons back. And I don't want to do that with all that brake dust on there because that brake dust is going to get jammed into where the seals are going to go and might actually cause those to start leaking at some point. So what I want to do is I want to get the pistons out a little bit, both of them, and clean around the piston as best as I can before I push those pistons back into the calipers. You can also see inside here there's like a metal clip in there and that helps keep tension on the brake pads when they're in when they're installed so I'm actually gonna pull that out and go ahead and clean it pretty good too. put it back in so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put the pads back in and I'm gonna push on that front brake lever a few times and we're gonna watch those pistons come out I want them to come out as far as I can right there actually I want to come out a little farther I'm trying to get to the clear spots of the pistons so I can clean all that off all the that brake dust you don't want the pistons to come out too far because then they'll just pop out and all brake fluid will be all over the place so you want to do that just before which I believe should be about the thickness of this brake pad cool and now you can see the difference from the clean area to the dirty area what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cleaning all that brake dust off as best as I can with a toothbrush or a brass wire brush to get these pistons nice and clean So this step is going to take quite a while. Um, I get as best of a clean as I can on all these parts and then I'm going to go in there and rotate those pistons with a special tool so I can get to the back areas. But just clean them as best as you can, hit them with some brake clean and get as much of that brake dust off. That way we ensure that we won't cause any leaks putting everything back together and we'll have the best braking performance. 
So a couple of cool tools I use is this brake piston grabber pliers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in there, grab a piston and rotate it so I get to the back side of the piston to give it a good cleaning. But before I do that, I'm going to use this tool, the brake caliper spreader tool, and it works really, really well. Part number is 4743. I don't know who makes this tool, but I'm sure you can find it on Amazon or something. So I go in there, and I'm going to slowly, gently push that back out. Just enough so I can get this tool in there. And then, grab it and rotate that piston. So that I can get to the other sides of the piston to give it a good cleaning. So now that I've rotated those pistons, I'm gonna clean this surface, and then I'm gonna keep rotating them and keep cleaning them till they're all done. So the next step would be to push these pistons back into the caliper, but before I do that, I'm going to open my brake reservoir cap and make sure that it's not going to overflow. I'm going to go ahead and remove the cap and make sure there isn't too much fluid in there to begin with. And while I'm at it, I'm probably going to go ahead and bleed the brakes. So I'll go ahead and use my favorite brake spreader tool. Put it right in the middle and spread those pistons nice and slowly. You want to go ahead and spread them all the way. Okay, stop right there. I don't want to force it. So now that I know that those pistons are clean and they're moved all the way out, go ahead and remove this clip right here. Now that I got this clip out, I'm going to go ahead and clean that with the brass wire brush with the brake pad backings before I reassemble them. Now that we got all these components nice and clean, we're ready to put everything back together. These go on the back side of the pads, not on the friction side. Make sure that clip goes in first. We're going to get all this put together and then reinstalled into the brake caliper. We're going to reinstall that pin and then I'll probably bolt the caliper onto the fork before I torque that pin down. So these go on the back side like that. And you can see that curving area that matches up, everything matches up. And you want to put these these back on if if it came with them because what this does is it creates a little bit of a barrier between the pad that gets really hot and the piston so that it doesn't boil your brake fluid. I'm going to go ahead and put that clip back in. Like that. Brake pad. Other brake pad. Now that those are in, make sure that those holes are lined up and you can slide that brake pin back in there. I'm going to go ahead and tighten that by hand. Okay. Make sure everything is assembled correctly. Go ahead and slide that back on the rotor. Install your two brake caliper bolts.
Then I'm going to go ahead and pump the front brake until I get that brake pressure back up and move the pad closer to the rotor until those pistons are all the way out. So just keep pumping until you feel brake pressure again. All right, last thing we need to do is make sure that this brake pin is nice and tight. So brake caliper bolts are tight, pins tight, clip is in there, brake pads are in there, and the backing plates are in there. Everything is good and nice and tightened up. So that side's done. I'm going to do the exact same procedure on the other side. Um, but yeah, that's basically about it. So now that that's all back together, if you want to go ahead and bleed the brake system, I do have another video that shows you how to do that. I'm going to go ahead and put the brake caliper cap back on, but I actually will bleed this system. So the other side is the same procedure, just same everything. I know it's a bit tedious, but this does produce the best, best results you will get the best braking performance and we all know how important that is so don't neglect your brakes take care of them all right thanks for watching i hope you learned something if you guys have any questions or if something wasn't clear go ahead and comment below i will get back to you and thanks again for watching see you next time